Hello everyone, Nadim here with PC Solutions Net. So um, I get a question um, uh, every once in a while when we when we are migrating customer mailboxes over either from another provider or from um, to a totally different system like Gmail or whatever ha have you. <clears throat> and the question is, how do we do a bunch of mailboxes how do we migrate them so there are there are two ways to do migrations if it's like you know very small account then we'll just do it manually uh, you know we'll export all the data into PST files uh, in Outlook we will connect to the new system we will import the data however if there are let's say you know 50 60 70 100 or whatever number of mailboxes that we need to migrate and then on top of that there are some public folders and things like that then we use some some tools on the back end that allow us to replicate the data and the question is why use replication well the reason it's better to use replication is because the replication happens between data centers it does not take the bandwidth on your internet connection doing it manually from your machine it takes a bandwidth at your location uh, so so we like to do this uh, you know like let's say if there was a hundred mailboxes we'll set the replication we will replicate 30 days or older data well ahead of time uh, then we will uh, deploy a tool to automatically configure Outlook on the cutover day, we'll do the delta replication. And we don't take all that bandwidth to first bring the data down and then send the data back up to the new data center. So that's why we like using these tools. Uh, even if, if it's a very small account, you know, let's say a 20 user account, they might have 10, 15 or 30 public folders. And some of these public folders can get pretty big. So, so we like to use replication whenever we can just to conserve that bandwidth. Um, and uh, uh, it, it makes the whole process easier, much more controlled. Uh, we can see if there's any errors, we can get the logs, and it rules out any communication issues between Outlook and the data center. And that's the main thing too is a lot of times you'll see if you go into folder view in Outlook, you'll see sync issues. That's because there was some kind of communication error. Uh, when it's data center to data center replication, it takes care of all that. So that's what we use. Um, and, and if you've been, you know, if you've done some migrations or if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, what kind of tools do you use if you've done any migrations? Um, you know, we use a variety of backend scripts and, and things like that to to replicate the data. Now, granted, being a Microsoft, being a you know Microsoft uh, Gold partner, we have access to a lot of the things on the backend that maybe some of the other users out there may not have. Um, but the process is still similar whether you're using your own tools whether you're using tools from like BitTitan or Skykick or whatever the provider is, the, 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 the logic is the same. Uh, and, and it does make a big difference. The, the, I mean, we can replicate a lot more data when it's a data center to data center as opposed to when it's from a user machine up to the data center. And then it has to sync back down. So, you know, it's a lot more um, bandwidth intensive at the local location. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Uh, I got a question over the weekend, somebody was asking me, you know, what do we use and, and, and why do we use it? And so I was like, let me make a video about that. So if you have any more questions around that, uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, other than that, uh, everybody, I'll see you tomorrow and uh, have a great day.